do you believe in visitors from space and unidentified flying objects? Well, the annual UFO festival just closed in Edinburgh, and some say the valley had its own incident back in 1966. Rick Diaz takes us there in today's Con Mi Gente. It's the perfect night. The location is just north of Edinburgh. In 1966, there was a strange incident that happened right here. Believers and non-believers have gathered at the site to see for themselves and listen to the stories. Where eight construction workers from the Dallas area uh, suddenly saw this beam of light or fire come down out of the sky and it totally destroyed their construction site. It burned to a crisp their pickup trucks, their construction -ery. Noe Torres of McAllen is considered a UFO expert and has written several books on the subject. For Joe Ponce, it was his father who brought him here in 1966. Sir, he was the deputy sheriff. Mm -hmm. He was the one that came out here to investigate. It was the following day that I came out here with my dad and uh, I saw I saw what had happened, what had taken place. He was 18 and the burnt area was big, he says, and it was all in this location. I'm a skeptic, but you know, what I saw, I saw. The site is on Highway 490. The old Moore Air Base is still 8 to 10 miles down the road. And many years later, we're still finding little pieces of metal uh, that were, we think were related to what happened that night. We can still find some of the debris, the debris from the mobile home that was incinerated for, uh, by the, the UFO that, according to, to the story that the men saw. The Edinburgh Library sponsored the Out of This World event, and there is always a big crowd. Most definitely. It's one of our bigger festivals and one that attracts people from all over. We're waiting for one to come tonight. <laughs> no, there's something definitely out there. And not too far from this, and I've seen hovering lights and different things going on. But I believe that we're not alone, obviously. Yeah, it's kind of ignorant to think we're the only thing in this universe. 51 years ago, and this was the site. Could we have had a visit? And then we also have rocks, like this one, that show signs of, of being, you know, totally blackened. This is an unexplained incident that happened here in Edinburgh back in 1966. Do you believe? For Channel 5 News, I'm Rick Diaz. Con el Mijan.